Non-Americans who have been to the U.S., what is the weirdest thing about America that Americans don't realize is weird? I went to SeaWorld with my mum when I was in my mid-teens. Halfway through the show, the performer, not the whale, asked everybody in the military to stand up and the whole crowd gave them a round of applause. They sat back down and the show continued as if nothing had happened. Couldn't imagine anything similar happening back in Blighty. Edit, this was at SeaWorld, Orlando not San Diego. Roughly 2003 quarters. Not seeing toilet brushes in hotels. I know, I know, room service and stuff, but is my family expected to look at my skid marks meanwhile? The amount of commercial breaks in a TV show. I find American TV to be unwatchable honestly. The cycle just breaks my brain, 3 minutes content, 1 minute cliffhanger, 2 minutes advertisement, 1 minute recap, rinse and repeat. Makes me feel like a hamster on amphetamines after 5 minutes. Hawaiian here, but I never noticed that we didn't have billboards until I moved out of Hawaii. Turns out they're illegal. So that's weird. It's awesome, cause I get unobstructed views, but still weird. They are also illegal here in Alaska. When I moved to Florida for a while last year I realized how much I liked not having them everywhere. Some European told me that it's crazy how restaurants are loud and busy and how people eat quick and leave. For him it was normal to sit around and talk for an hour or more after eating in a restaurant. Wait, Americans seriously don't stay after finishing their meal? I mean in France, you eat before the meal, it's called the apera, sit with your drink, eat your meal, talk, get your dessert, and then usually, you order a coffee and smoke a cigarette if you were eating outside and maybe when it's over you can ask for the check. But also maybe restaurants are more comfortable over this side of the ocean. The concept of pharmaceutical advertisements. Your doctor is supposed to recommend drugs to you, not the other way around. In Germany, how are you, is an actual question and you generally only ask it, if you know the other person. It was super hard to explain to my mum that the answer is always, fine, thank you, and that cashiers don't really care about how you actually feel, when we visited the US in 08. It's as strange. Even when you are with a close friend and the conversation is going to be about how you are in fact not fine, it starts as, how are you, fine, thanks. Free refills. Went to a restaurant with my dad, both German, and all of a sudden the waiter took away my drink with another perfectly good sip in it and I must have looked pretty shocked. It was only then when my dad explained to me that you guys have free refills. I just studied for six months in Germany, and this is what I missed most. It was a challenge to find water for free at many restaurants, and if I ordered a drink it was the same price as in the US and I got very little. The reason we have free refills is that drinks come in large containers of syrup that get mixed with the water and carbonation in a fountain on site. At fast food restaurants, it costs the restaurant more to provide you with a cup than the liquid that they order in bulk. This makes unlimited refills feasible, versus the individual glass bottles everyone in Europe is serving. I live in the south and one time I was hanging out with a friend smoking by a lake in late spring, early summer. He was Egyptian and had just moved here over the winter. All of a sudden he freaked out saying he was seeing weird lights in the trees. I thought he was too high or something before I realized he meant the lightning bugs. He'd never seen them and didn't know what they were, so I started catching them and he was mind blown that they were just a normal seasonal thing. How far apart everything is and how little is within walking distance? Location dependent, but I moved to a suburb in the Midwest as a kid and everything was so far away. Without access to a car and without reliable public transportation, it was pretty much impossible to get to a friend's house unless they lived on your street or something or go anywhere fun as a kid without relying on parents for a ride. Maybe things are different now with Uber and whatnot, but back then it felt pretty isolating. Canadian here, I was blown away by how weirdly social people are with strangers. Like some random guy I've never seen before just starts telling me his life story on the street. He is super normal, and doesn't seem crazy, just wants to talk to me for some reason. But then also, the dude at Wendy's is loudly threatening some 16-year-old cashier in front of like 45 people. I got the impression the Wendy's guy was uncool, but the other guy seemed normal, and where I live I generally assume that a stranger talking to me for no reason is either crazy or high. Portion size. Saw a kid drinking a pop the size of his head. Child size drink. 
It's roughly the size of an average child if he were liquefied. Clearly the fact that there are people to put your groceries in a bag for you, I've never been so stressed and uncomfortable that while I was watching this young girl taking care of my groceries. I went to Germany and was shocked that the cashiers are seated. They all stand here in the US, which is unfortunate. There's no real reason for it. Complimenting strangers. When I visited the US I went to an amusement park and a girl complimented my glasses and that was my first time getting complimented and at the same amusement park a senior lady complimented my dad for having a beautiful family and a handsome son, lol me. I was really happy that day. Car dealerships have huge flags. I don't get why you'd have a flag the size of 10 RVs. So many roads don't have street lights. Not weird, but portion sizes are also huge. I struggled with finishing my food sometimes. Would you buy a truck from a guy whose American flag was smaller than a football field? If it's not at least one square mile in size you're basically a communist, and we don't buy commie trucks. American here, one huge difference I noticed being in Germany was that our toilets are puny and wimpy. The first time I flushed a toilet there it sounded like a jet engine and I swear the air pressure dropped in the room. That is a proper toilet. For me as British bloke who only traveled for six weeks in the US, your public transport is largely poor but everything is built for cars and your cars are big. You advertise not businesses but personalities a lot. So it's not that KGH estate agents will well your property but Mary Hewton will personally sell your house with a big picture of her face. Random people will talk to you. I'm a Londoner so it is different up north in the UK but especially when I got to the southern states people were so happy to talk to random strangers. You guys actually sit at the bar in bars. When we go to a pub per bar, we'll go with friends and rarely interact outside of that group really. You guys jump up at that bar and just start chatting. Where homelessness is visible it's bloody awful. San Francisco was horrible for this, me and my now wife ended up making a load of extra spag bowl to give to the homeless people outside our hostel because it was shocking to us. If I think of any more I'll add them but it's Christmas day and I should probably talk to my family. Now that Thanksgiving and Christmas is over, the weirdest thing is that Americans will ask what you are doing for Thanksgiving. Are you going to your family etc. When you say no, they invite you to their home. I was a student, my family was thousands of miles away, and I'm happy that the local Cracker Barrel is open and looking forward to a meal there, my professor did that. Invited me to his home. I had a good time, but it was strange. I'm meeting his uncles and aunts, and one little girl threw a tantrum, I had to take her to calm her down etc, it was weird. But also wonderful. In my country things like this would never happen. You don't bring a stranger to a family event. But I'm thankful things like this happen here. You don't put tax on your prices. Why? E? The amount of times I counted it the exact amount it said something would cost, only to get to the register and get told that it's actually more. This was the most annoying thing for me. Go to a restaurant, order a $12 meal that actually ends up costing $20 because of secret taxes and tips. Everything's so big. From the super center Walmart store to food portions, the parking lot, pickup trucks, house, cup of coffee, airport, even the people. Canadian here, Canada's fast food restaurants have signs that fairly normal height, just enough to get the point across while not being obnoxious, cross over to the USA and within 5 seconds of leaving customs you can see fast food signs hundreds of feet in the air on giant poles. Two to three times taller than here in Canada, why? Also finding peanut butter and jelly swirled into the same jar was shocking. Lemondade made with real lemons and it's like super sour but somehow sugary sweet at the same time. In Australia lemonade is the same as Sprite. So when I was there my mum and I ordered Jack Daniels and lemonade and they made it with the real lemondade and it was awful. It was also weird because they sold pre-mixed bottles of Jacks and lemonade with the real lemonade but in Australia you buy the same ones with Sprite lemonade. Free refills was the other big one. Everywhere has free refills as many times as you like? Never seen that before. I'm Australian and lived in upstate New York for a while and could go on all day. My main one however is how so many Americans seem to think and will openly say that America is the best country in the world despite never seeing another country in their life. On behalf of my wife, what's up with the gaps in the toilet stall doors and no bidet? 
Bartenders taking your credit card away. Imperial system is weird but it kinda makes sense. Regular bread in US is disgusting, thankfully European style bread is easy to find. How much power your employer has over you. They can fire you at will, dictate that you work overtime, mandate that you take a drug test at will, the power balance between employer and employee in NZ is very different. I lived for a long time in different places around the world, and something that I really missed when moving to a new town was the lack of a US-style bar where it was easy for a stranger to meet people. Outside of the US, it is rare to find a bar where everyone just sits and faces the same direction, whether or not a sporting event was playing on the television. Instead, they have a more pub-like environment, where everyone is sitting in groups at their individual tables. This makes meeting new people extremely difficult. Think about it, with the table-style bar, in order to strike up a conversation with a stranger, you literally have to approach them while they are sitting at their own table with their own friends. It's almost impossible to not look like a total freak. In a proper cheers style bar, you can just say some random phrase to the bartender and if the person sitting next to you wants to talk, they'll just join in on the conversation. Basically, in non-US bars, if you aren't invited ahead of time by someone, you are damned to sit alone in some corner of the bar. American that just traveled overseas. I went to a great bookstore in Edinburgh and the cashier asked if I wanted to sign up for a rewards membership. This led to a conversation about how their CEO or something just took over Barnes & Noble in the States. I stated the closest B&N to me is an hour away, and the other cashier jumped in, saying how easy it is to forget how far apart things are in the States. He was just kind of baffled and said it often blows his mind. I moved 13 hours away from my hometown and I still managed to be in the same country, which seems like a foreign concept for most Europeans. When, in reality, I could have moved even further away and still been in the US. For context, I'm from the Netherlands. The weirdest thing for me was a drive through liquor store. And a drive through ATM. In fact, it was the realization that Americans do everything by car. My wife went to Philadelphia for work about 10 years ago and wanted to walk from the hotel to the Target store across the street. People thought she was crazy.